Hello and welcome to my show. Today we're going to talk about uh, two things. Um, coat hangers I've done out of birch plywood and um, side table I made to go along with my uh, coffee table and the console table in the living room. So let's first start with the coat hangers uh, and you can see a, a picture here of the uh, finished product. For this one um, all the tools um, are pretty much there at this point but I needed to be able to cut uh, small pieces on the table saw and uh, in order to be safe with a table saw I made a crosscut sled uh, which we'll see in a minute so here it is it is a crosscut sled uh, this is uh, made with birch plywood uh, it's uh, 24 inches wide uh, about the same this way but uh, since I kept my ravin knife with the blade you can really cut safely 12 inches let's say as you can see this one um, so that's a zero clearance cut which uh, you make when uh, you raise your blade the first time I got uh, Rockler rails here and uh, all downs uh, for um, to all my pieces oh, let me see here take a small piece and show you how it works uh, it's very easy you take this and this one's already cut but you put that however you want it and you secure it and then it doesn't move that's how it works you can cut your pieces uh, I have a block here at the very end because uh, you can see here the blade can go uh, past the fence here uh, so this is dangerous. I added some some safety here. I have um, a stop block right here that you can move um, with a, a ruler on both sides, and um, this uh, obviously slides on on the miter slots here on the table saw, and uh, these are also, I believe, from Rockler. This is from Craig, uh, so that's a mix of. Um, Craig and Rockler. And this is working very good. Uh, the fence here is aligned using the um, uh, five uh, cut method, uh, which you can see uh, online everywhere uh, if you need some uh, instructions to do that to make sure it's square uh, from your blade. In this one, you don't really care. Um, so I've been using this for a while, still working great and uh, that's what I use to be able to cut uh, small parts for uh, my coat hanger. In order to be able to drill uh, straight, which means perpendicular to the face of the uh, coat hanger, uh, to make sure the hooks could swivel correctly, I needed uh, something. You can make a, a small jig with two pieces of wood angle 90 degrees and a drill uh, to kind of ensure that you're perpendicular to what you're drilling. Um, but I saw something interesting online which uh, is um, a special jig to uh, drill straight. And uh, I'll show you a picture here and about um, one four NC size holes and one for metric. Still use them sometimes, uh, even though now I bought uh, a drill press, which makes it a lot easier. And uh, I'll show you the drill press uh, a bit later with another build. Regarding the uh, side table for the couch, um, no extra tools was uh, necessary, and actually I used the scrap uh, from the other tables uh, to create this one. This one was done. Um, butcher style block also, tenon and mortise, um, so no screws, no nothing. And um, that's pretty much it, nothing complicated in that build. I'll show you a picture over here also. So that's it for today and um, we're going to start from on going into the bigger builds and next one will be the workbench I built from scratch and uh, I'll show you uh, the process and the tools uh, needed for this one. Thank you very much for tuning in and we'll see you next time.